Hi, welcome to Disney to Universal. If you're new here, my name is Nicola and today's video is what I got for my birthday, Harry Potter and Disney edition. The most special item of all of my presents because my 11 year old daughter Elle bought me this item with her own money and it is the Mirror of Erised from the Noble Collection. Been wanting this for a very long time, so it was really nice to finally get it. As you can see there, there's the writing on top of the mirror. Super special that my daughter got it for me. Next, I got a couple of clothing pieces. This is the first item. This is a Disney 100 Years of Wonder Celebration jumper. This came from asda and cost 15 pounds it's got a really cool back the next clothing item is this donald jumper this was from h&m and i absolutely love all of the images and graphics and everything that are on this jumper it's plain on the back um this was in the sale for 10 pounds so <laughs> absolute bargain I will show you the sleeves. It's on one sleeve. There you go. How cool. There is the other sleeve. Just really amazing detail. Love all the little hidden Mickeys that are in there amongst all of the stuff as well. Uh, a really cool colour. So yeah, love this jumper. And the last clothing item is this Mickey Mouse jumper that was bought from H&M as well. This jumper I saw Zoe Dokus wearing and as soon as I seen it I was like I need to have that. Pinks are so cute, love it. Plain on the back and I actually had some discount on this so I actually got it for £20, normally £24.99. Uber uber cute and cannot wait to wear this next time I'm in the Disney park. Okay this next one is just a really little item. I just happened to come across this on eBay one day, didn't know these existed, but thought it was really, really cute. This is a brand new version. This was an item that was uh, free with Walt Disney Classics Sleeping Beauty video from back in the day years ago. So somebody's obviously not opened this. I love anything that are like little castles. But this is actually a little play set and you get a little... Um, Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip with this. I'm going to keep the little cardboard paper topping because I love graphic design items and I just think this is really cute. I paid 99 pence for this as a starting bid um, with the postage it ended up being like four pounds. Okay here we go. Oh there's the little figures. Okay this is adorable. And then the tiniest little figures ever. You have it on display like this and then they just stand there. So that's adorable. <laughs> if you can see there, it's got Sleeping Beauty written on the door. Very cute. Just a nice little item to go onto a shelf and just be really cute. Good for photo props as well. Next item is this pair of beaded Disney ears. These are from the parks. I looked for these at the time when we were over there in December and January, but I never came across them. So I went on to Double Box Toys and decided to buy them from there. So because on Double Box Toys, if you don't spend £100, you need to pay £5 postage. These were originally going to cost me with the postage £51.50, which was a lot of money, but I had done it in three instalments. So it seemed easier to take because I do not like having to pay crazy amounts of money for a pair of ears. But I really love these ears. I love the colours, I love the little beads, it's just very aesthetically pleasing. But when they arrived, I noticed that they had, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see, maybe it's just there. If you can see, there's like, it's like hard glue and it didn't want to come off just by rubbing it or anything. So contacted Double Box Toys and they were originally going to give me, I think it was something like ended up being two pounds off certain percentage they'd said and I just said no I'd prefer a replacement because I don't think this is going to come off and but they didn't have a replacement and so they were trying to negotiate with me to see if I would keep them for a certain price. They ended up giving me uh, 10 pounds off in the end so they went to 41 pounds 50 so at 40 
at £40, I didn't feel as bad paying for these. With the money I got from my mother and father-in-law, I decided to use their money to pay for these ears. These were originally $35 and then maybe with a 38 or something with tax on. So I actually am getting these at a really good deal to be only paying $41.50. So I was really happy in the end that this little misfortunate bit of fault there uh, had to happen. It's, it's really very subtle, so you can't really see it. And I may even get one of those little bobble machines just to try and take that top layer off. I love these ears. I mean, that is gorgeous on the colours, the way it looks. Just really love these ears. And again, can't wait to wear them on my next Disney trip because I've got a dress that will go perfectly with this colour. Um, so intend to wear them with that dress next trip. I've got a couple more items to show you, but I'm going to show you the items that I don't physically have just yet and the reasons for that and I'll show you the pictures of what these are. The first item is the new Mina Lima designed Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban book. You can place your pre-orders now but the book isn't actually coming out until October so I'm gonna have to wait until October to get that gift but that happens every year. It always comes out around about February to pre-order and then you collect them in October. And that is what I have done for the previous two books. And I like to get them from Mina Lima, from Mina Lima's website, because they are signed. Each book is signed by them in the front. And I'd like to collect the full set of signed books. So yeah, I have the first two. So <laughs> predict that this will happen in every video in every birthday video for the next few years until all of the books are out that will be in every single video so the third book was a present from my parents and my sister-in-law's family so that was nice coming all the way from tokyo in japan this tokyo disneyland mini balloon bag uh, it's in this gorgeous pink colour. As soon as I seen this was worn by Zoe Docus. So as soon as I seen her wearing it, I was like, oh my goodness, where's that bag from? Searched for it, found out it was from Tokyo Disneyland. I was like, oh my goodness, it's going to be crazy expensive. Bought a few things from Japan before. And one of the one of the Disney people that I use is Tokyo Kawaii Club. Um, he's really good because usually you get free postage. And so, yes, you're paying a fee for an extra fee on top of the item that you want. Because I think the item wasn't very really, I think the item was probably around about a £30 item. I ended up paying £48 in total for this bag, which is pricey. I would have paid that anyways, even if that was what it was priced at in the park, I would have, I would have instantly bought it. It was, it's a, one of those amazing bags that I need to have in my life like this service yes you have to wait a couple of months to get the free postage but um that's fine by me I, i'm not in any rush for this bag so uh because otherwise i think after that you're looking at paying maybe 20 plus postage pounds for to get this item and usually as well in the past i didn't have to pay any extra import fees or taxes or anything like that when when I'd bought from, from him before. So fingers crossed, I don't have to pay anything else when it comes into the country this time. So wait and see on that. The last couple of items are not official Disney merchandise, but they are Disney related. If you're in the Disney community, you probably already know about Stony Clover Lane and its collaborations that it has. Well, recently they did a Mickey and Friends and they brought out a product that I was like, oh my goodness, I'd love to have something like that. I'm gonna to have to find something similar because to get Stony Clover shipped over here would just be horrendously priced and it's already expensive in the US anyways. Um, so I was on the search for something similar uh, and I found something that I thought was probably cuter. Here it is and it's a pink vanity case. This is from a company called Soap and Glory. This would have been 
what housed all of the products that came inside of it. Uh, so somebody was getting rid of this as a new sort of item, but obviously it's been used. It's got these really cute little Soap and Glory feet, which is very nice. And this lovely handle and then this lovely plushy pink hard case. So Stony Clover brought out a pouch that was a sort of round pouch with a clear top and it was like a Mickey, black and white Mickey design on the sides. Um, and I just thought something like this would be really, really similar. It would do a really similar job. Um, if not, even a little bit better because I think the Stony Clover one doesn't have a hard side so it can still be squished. So, so yeah, got this and it does the same job where it's an open top and it lies flat and here's the inside and I shall show you the Disney ears in. So I put them opposite like this, then on the sides, then one at the top, one at the bottom, and then one on each side. So there you go, you can see them all in there. So that fits very easily, eight pairs of ears. I would say you could get another couple of ears in there on top as well. It comfortably fits eight pairs of ears in here and there is no risk of squashing them because of the hard sides. So I love this little travel option for my ears to go to the parks now and then be protected. So I was super happy to find this and it just looks beautiful to display as well but gorgeous i love how they look in there as well it's really pretty so yeah really happy with that before in the video you heard me talking about zoe docus she is a Div disney influencer if you didn't know and she has worked with stony clover before as well so she's done a collaboration with them in the past um, with her brand, which is Park and Beach. I got this little case. Uh, it says bling bling on the top there. Just a little pink hard case again, so it's nice and protected. Um, this is the Zoe Doka's Park and Beach version was um, like a little version of this in this kind of soft material, pink material, but this, it was this kind of light pink colour and it had tiny little embroidered rainbow stars all over it, like pastel rainbow stars. So this was £10 off of Amazon, a much better price. And it it's it's a lovely little option, a little homage to the Zoe Docus version from Park and Beach. Um, it came with this little insert, which I'm not going to use. I just wanted it to be a bracelet pot. Um, so there's the inside. I would love to buy the Park and Beach Zoe Docus bracelets, but they were horrendous prices. You can get other versions out there, not so badly priced, but I'm actually going to make some of my own bracelets to wear at the parks. So I'm going to have all of my Disney bracelets in kept in here for when I go traveling. So yeah, like I said, just thought it was a little dupe, these two items. Yeah, that's where I got my inspiration for those products, which are Disney related. So thought I'd show those as well. That is everything I got for my birthday. If you liked any of these items, please let me know down in the comments what you liked. Next week's video is going to be a haul from Universal Studios in Orlando. So I hope you come back to watch that one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.